Okay, part two in our hip extension isokinetic testing. So we now have the patient in place. So we're going to utilize the donkey position. So the individual is going to be bent over the edge of the table. Uh, hands are going to grasp the metal frame for stability. We have one strap over the lower back. And then because the chair is already in the fold down position, it's highly possible that you'll get someone who is of shorter stature and thus their hip, that is their greater trochanter, probably may not meet the axis of rotation. In such cases, all you would need to do is put a small stool under that bottom foot. Additionally, we have found that you get a better stability uh, and push off from your base of support when you have a small wedge under that bottom foot as well, irrespective of whether the individual has the appropriate uh, leg length to meet the center of rotation. The hip is going to be strapped in as approximately an inch above the popliteal fossa. Uh, is the, if the patient goes through the full range of motion, you'll see that it, it, there's enough bandwidth there that it doesn't encroach upon their lower leg. Okay, very good. And that is the setup uh, for the patient on the isokinetic hip extension.